The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to do things a little bit differently here for this part of the show. And I put a chart up of uh, July soybeans, folks. Uh, this is uh, pretty much up to date. As you can see here, we are forming a beautiful Gartley pattern down here. Uh, the 78% level down about another 25 or 30 cents. Folks, th this was a life-changing pattern for me. Um, I've mentioned it many times, but since this is my show and I think it's important, I'm going to mention it again. After I'd lost all my money, I didn't lose all my money. I mean, I, I started I started with 30 grand. I ran it up to 1.2 million over a period of about four years, and I spent a lot of money on the way up, folks. I mean, I really did. Uh, you know, I had a couple of annuities, insurance policies, put education away. You know, so I still had a lot of. I put I had assets. I just didn't have a lot of trading capital because I figured out a way to lose that just by adding the losers on the way down. But after I lost it, went debit, then I had to study, and I got the book. I had the book since 1970, the Gartley book that Don Mack had given me, but uh, he always said, look at pages 200 to 250. And so I studied those pages and saw those patterns. I didn't know. I knew a tiny bit about Fibonacci that John Hill had told me back in. Now, hold on, folks, uh, just a second here. Something is beeping, and I want to make sure it's what I think it is. Hold on just a second here. Uh, oh, stop the music just a second, Larry, just a second. Uh, Okay, hold on. He, uh, okay, there we got that covered. Okay, anyway, look, I, I knew that this pattern on page 222 of Gartley's book was really good, okay? So I figured I, I, I went back and I started to look at the just the ABCD part of it. I knew a little bit of Fibonacci, but not enough to... Remember, Prechter didn't come out till 77, so this was long before that. John Hill talked to me about Fibonacci in 1970, and I knew 618, but that's all I knew. I didn't know 382. I didn't know 1618. I didn't know 786. I didn't know 127. You know, I was an ABCD. That's all I did. But I saw that pattern, and my two of my mentors, which was Dave Nelson and Oscar McClure, professional soybean traders, uh, said you want to buy July soybean oil and sell December soybean oil, and uh, you can put the trade on for $150. That's all the margin was. And so I started putting those on, and I put them on. And remember, interest rates at that time were starting to rise. And so carrying charges were starting to increase. So if you put that spread on early, you got the value because it, it would raise just because of the price of the interest rates. So I put them on at 150 all the way out to about $300 uh, over a period of about four or five months based on this type of pattern that was right here. And I stayed with those for all the way through. I started doing it in January and all the way through March. After March, they started to move up a little bit. And then it was, uh, and from there they went 18 times is where it went uh, from from what you put. In other words, if you put up 150 uh, bucks, you made 18 times your money, and that only took six months because we got out of everything in uh, June of uh, 1976, and then in uh, August of 1976 I went to work for. Uh, uh, Drexel Burnham and based on that particular pattern because I had told so many people to do it that opened accounts at Conti Commodity they had there was over 1200 contracts of the July December soybean oil now I didn't I was not this was remember folks this was before the CFTC okay this was before the NFA and you could do you could put as many position on they didn't have limits on positions until 75 so I had in late 75. So I already had these positions on, but I, I was not in control of them. Each one of them, I just told them to buy it, put it on, and I'll tell you when to sell it. I didn't have any control. But then they started to go up and up and up and up, and they got it. We got out right on the high day, just got lucky on that one. But this is the type of situation that we have going right now in this particular pattern, folks. 
So I'm going to be uh, talk, if you belong to the 24/7, I'd like for you to join. But I'm going to spend a lot of time with this. I'm uh, also asking Rich Anderson and John Jameson to help me with some spread opportunities because you can put a spread on the margin on beans is like $2,800, but if you spread the July to November, you cut your you know your margin down by 75%. You can put it on for 25% and still limit your risk to 25%. And if you're only risking 10 cents, I mean that's that's almost nothing so that's what i'm preparing to do uh, as we go through this and this is the time of the year too because this is the growing season uh, they're about 50 percent planted in corn and about 60 percent planted in beans and that stuff not going to be ready till the fall in all these years that i've been trading there's never been a year that we didn't have one or two you know uh, what we call weather scares uh, as we go through but if you're also interested in corn, which is our largest crop that we have. Let's get this up and show you right here. Uh, this is the, the December corn, which is new crop. July is the old crop. You can see here, this is where we are. Right there is that number that we want to be buying at, which is 492. Now, at that point, you're going to be a farmer because you've got a perfect ABCD coming in at a 61% retracement. But instead of having to put a half a million dollars into capital and having a tractor and leasing the land and buying fertilizer and seed and worrying about the crops, all you got to do is to put a stop in. You can buy a, you'll be a farmer at uh, 492 and you won't be a farmer at 482. So you're going to risk $500, not 500,000. That's about what it costs to run a farm. So you're going to risk it 500 bucks. And that's what the beauty of these futures markets is. It allows you to become a, a farmer for a, a short period of time. Maybe it's 10 minutes. It might be three months. It might be a year. You don't know, but at least you can get in and out whenever you want. And that's the real key to what we're looking at. Now, we had a big rally in corn yesterday, and everybody said, oh, wow, this is it. It's already on its way. Well, I sent out a video to last night saying, folks, Hold your horses. This is all that happened yesterday. And it was basically an oversold market. You can see there was the gap down. And what did it do? It rallied right up to the 78% level. And now you can see you have a perfect A, B, C, D coming down here at around 493. That's less than 10 cents from where we are right now, boys and girls. If you can't buy corn here at 493, uh, find another radio show to listen to because this is a perfect pattern. Uh, it's perfect on the 15 minute, it's perfect on the daily, it's perfect on the weekly. Uh, the risk is there, the time of the year is right, the seasonality is right, the price is right, the risk is right, everything is right. Does that mean it's gonna work? Heck no. And those are the kind that you have to be the most how would I say it, the most uh, scared of. And so that's why we're watching these things unfold like we are. But this is a, a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern should we get there. And, and we're getting close. Each night I do the video, we will be looking at the beans, we'll be looking at the corn, we'll be looking at the uh, soybean oil. Those are the ones. Now wheat is a little different because it's had some big moves, uh, 60 cents up, 60 cents down, but it does not have at least not now it doesn't. It did when it had the ABCD down at 603. But now after rallying up to 670, the pattern is different. The risk is different. So we want a pattern that lines up exactly with what we think is going to happen, both on the shorter term time frame. And this would answer Mike's question that called in from Niagara Falls, is that this is nothing more than a 15-minute chart. I could do a two-minute chart. It would look much different than Currencies, this Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of uh, the largest bank in the United States, Bank of America. I know there's a lot of uh, uh, folks out here. Are you calling me? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Whoa, what's what's wrong? Something's wrong. Uh-oh, I think we've lost Internet. Uh-oh, let me check. Hold on just a minute. Yep, I still got Internet. Okay. Billy Ray is in the house. Sorry, boys and girls. This is the Bank of America chart. If you can find something bullish about this, folks, please let me know. Look at this. Last rally we had was a 382 rally, um, and it's not rallying at all. There's no – nobody really wants to own this stock. I know it's got lots of problems, and you can see the problems. <laughs> Just go back a year. Uh, and this has got and whether it's going to be serious enough to call the problem. Now, we're not bank. I, well, time out. Time out. Bank America is not going to go out of business, boys and girls. At least I don't think so. All I'm trying to show you is that investors are being very reluctant to buy Bank of America. This is a company that's in the news all the time. Brian Monahan, a very personable young man, is out there. And, you know, they have a lot of deposits and a lot of people, and they have a lot of insurance behind it. But the thing you got to ask yourself is, why isn't the stock rallying? That's, that's my point here. And so just keep in mind, if you're going to buy something, buy something that looks a little bit, uh, you know, better than Bank of America. As far as a stock, that that's all. That's all I'm trying to to try and to review. Now I want to go over the gold market one more time, because it's it's very important. We, we're in an area where we're getting ready to think uh, at least a major bottom is happening, and we did it on the earlier show, and I want to do it again here. Here is the uh, four-hour chart 
that we uh, have been looking at for quite some time. There was your high up here, 2084. You broke 100 bucks. You rallied back to the 61% retracement of this high, 78% of this high. And then the real key was here just a few days ago when we made the 382 retracement. And we stayed there for two days, folks, at 2030. And now we've broken $40 today. And it looks like we're heading down. Do you see this little red box? That little red box is the important one. That comes in at 1977. So you want to be a buyer of gold there. If you believe in ABCD, you're going to have an A, B, C, D forming. And this is going to be over a 15-day period. And then you're going to have another one right here, A, B, C, D. So 1974 is what you want to be looking at in the gold market. However, we have to put a caveat in here because if you look at the long-term chart, going back to November, you're going to see that there is a possibility that we could make a 382 of that move, and that would take you here to 1905. But before it gets there, it's going to have some pretty strong support at 1977 to 1974. I would assume. And remember, assume means you make an A out of you and a me. And you don't want to do that. Just put your stop in and pays your dues, and then you're going to be uh, just fine. Okay, so let's remember that. Very, very important. Also, on a short-term note, I wanted to show you what happens uh, during the day when you have these real strong cascading markets we call them Tom Hugard markets where you can see the 135 here. This is a four-minute chart on gold. There's your first 382 retracement. There's your second 382 retracement. There's your third 382 retracement, and it still has not had one since that time. This has been a pretty big drop from 2015. We dropped $23 today. That takes us to 93 another $20, folks. And guess where we're going to be? We're going to be at 20, excuse me, 1973, 1974. So pay attention. If you get your video tonight, we're going to go over that and show where we think we're going to be here. And that's what we're trying to do is to find a good place to uh, be a buyer of gold. Whether this will be a major bottom, one does not know. But all we know is that there's still that outstanding possibility of 1905 in the gold. That's why it's a... Uh, that's why it's so very important. Uh, another uh, stock that we've been watching today uh, that is was in the news every minute because of Michael Burry of uh, the Great Short was talking about it, and that is the stock of um, NVIDIA. Uh, it almost made the exact 1.618 expansion up here uh, a little while ago, folks. I updated this an hour, maybe two hours ago. But uh, this was the opening this morning, and that's when the NASDAQ exploded. It had been down on the day, and uh, it went all the way up to this level right here. Now, remember, this is just one of the stocks in the NASDAQ, and there's only about 20 of them or less that, that control that the whole hundred. So that's why it's uh, – you know, so very, very important. I, I have to, I, I've, I've shown this before, but I've got to show it again. And by the way, uh, Jeff Huge will be our guest here uh, for the second half to go through those wonderful charts that he gave us before. But take a look at this, folks. This is absolutely a mind boggling statistic, in my opinion. Here it is. It comes from the internet, and I had somebody check it, but by golly, it, the price of Apple. Okay, at 172, is worth more than all the stocks in the Russell 2000. Can you? I mean, to me, that's a statistic that it just absolutely blows me away. I mean, I, uh, I I'm not easily uh, startled, but that one really startles me. The fact that it's just been that uh, incredible. Ben, everybody owns it. It's a great product. I own a Nano, but I don't own an Apple computer or an Apple Watch or anything like that. But by golly, I mean, this is really a statistic. Where it, oh, in other words, you, <laughs> every stock in the Russell doesn't add up to to Apple. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh my gosh, to me that is just a a totally mind-boggling one. I'm going to end the show here with the Hawks 
because uh, this is one that we've been following. You don't trade hogs very much, but I want to show you the pattern because it's that same little three drive that we look at. And as you can see, we came down and made the 127, and we've had a pretty good rally in here. Now, I'm assuming what's going to happen is we're going to come down and match this high up here and then make one further bottom down in here. That's what my assumption is going to be here because I'm just looking at the seasonality that uh, usually hogs will bolt bottom sometime in late spring, i.e. June or early July. So I'm going to see what this rally is, and then we'll see where it is. Look at this beautiful retracement here, right on the money, 618. Come up here, 618, A, B, C, D to the downside. That's what you're looking for. A, B, C, D is where you want to be. So make sure you keep those in mind as you look at those patterns unfold every day. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And stay tuned for Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Always great information. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, nice to have you back. Hey, it's and great I'm, to be here, Larry. 
I'm really glad you're back for a second section because I love to see these types of car, um, charts that you have showing resistance, support, and distribution and stuff because these are things that I don't do. You know, I'm basically an A, B, C, D. I'm a one-trick pony. It's a good pony. Mm -hmm. It's not secretariat <laughs> and it's not man of war, but it's a good pony. Anyway, uh, tell us <laughs> on this first one here. Uh, about the key resistance levels that we're we're seeing here on some of these things. Yeah, as you know, uh, Nasdaq 100 has been the leadership within this market. All the other indexes have really been uh, kind of you know uh, also rands, if you will. And you know, I think what uh, investors need to be cognizant of is how narrow this market is. I mean, you can see in the bottom frame here that only about 38 percent of Nasdaq stocks are even trading above their 50-day moving average. That number is closer to 30 percent if we're talking about the 200-day moving average. And the problem I see right now is that the NASDAQ 100 is rallying right into a key resistance zone, which is um, kind of the, 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 the um, confluence of three points, the uh, August 2022 high, the 100-week simple moving average, and the 50% retracement, which, as you know, is a, is a very key reference point and oftentimes uh, is a big enough resistance by itself to cause a reversal. But I think when you combine it with these other two key uh, resistance points, uh, it becomes even more important. And, you know, I think this narrow leadership is about to fail. And I think those who have been uh, long the NASDAQ ought to think about uh, what to do at this point. And I think the answer to that question is to take some profits. Well, I hope they pay attention. This next one is one of my favorites. Uh, they're all my favorites, but this is my uh, second favorite. Actually, my first favorite. The second one's coming up. But I, I really, I never see these, Jeff. So you're the only one that, uh, hold on just a second. I got to get this up here. There it is. This is your broad market confirmation. This, this, if you're in the stock market, folks, you ought to pay attention to this because it shows you that there's only a few stocks that are doing good. So fire away, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you said broad market. It's a broad market non-confirmation. And in fact, yeah. you used the term distribution earlier, and I think that sums it up perfectly. What you can see when you look at the Wilshire 5000, the Russell 3000, the Value, Value Line Arithmetic Index, and the Dow Jones Composite, which includes the Dow Industrials, Transportations, and Utilities, is what I would describe as distribution. You've been seeing that that lower high put in place, which is, you know, basically characteristic of distribution, even as the NASDAQ index, the NASDAQ 100 has made this new uh, recovery high today. And it's been unconfirmed by obviously the Dow and the S&P, which are both down sharply today. Uh, but, um, you know, all broad market just is not confirming that. And, and that is a bearish, uh, you know, precondition to uh, the market moving lower. And I think that it uh, is giving people a signal uh, right now and right here uh, that we're at a, a decision point. That decision point is probably uh, indicative of a trend reversal to the downside. Mm -hmm. I have a question from a listener here in Arizona, in Tucson, Arizona. He's raising his hand right now. And that is of the, of these, of the NASDAQ stocks. I know there's Apple and Nvidia and Microsoft and uh, uh, Meta. What what are the what are the other uh, six or seven that are really big ones, uh, Jeff? Do, do well, you know offhand? If we, if we, yeah, I do. So there's something called the uh, New York Fang Index, and ah. that is made up of yeah, that's made up of Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla, Meta, which used to be Facebook, Nvidia, uh -huh. uh, also uh, advanced micro devices. Uh, Snowflake and Netflix. So those are the 10 constituents of that FANG index. And those are, um, I think, collectively uh, the 10 or at least 10 of the top 15 largest stocks in the, um, in the uh, NASDAQ 100. In fact, uh, the top seven of those names uh, represent over 51% of the NASDAQ 100's market cap. Wow, awesome. That's just uh, great information to have. Okay, we've got another one coming up here. Just be with, bear with me here one second. And this is the one you explained to me before that makes great, great sense. And there's another one that is absolutely scary to me. And this is your uh, new high 
52 new week highs to 52 week lows. That's a little scary to me. Well, you know, here's the thing. If, if we're in a new bull market, it should be attended by more new highs than new lows. And what we're looking at in the, you know, the black line represents the spread, the, the difference between new highs minus new lows. And if we take that every single day and we say the number of new highs minus the number of new lows and then add them all together to get a cumulative number, it should be going up, right? But in fact, we made a new 52-week low yesterday in terms of net new highs. And, you know, my sense is that um, this is completely inconsistent with the notion that we're in a new uh, developing bull market. I think what we've seen is nothing more than a counter trend advance that is in the peaking stages, whether it peaks today, tomorrow or next week is irrelevant. It is near its end. And when it ends, it will end badly. And we should expect a sharp decline uh, from uh, the major averages. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at is the SKU index. And you know, I, Jeff, I've been doing this business 62 years, and I, I, this is the first time I've ever heard of a SKU index. I mean, that shows you how isolated I am here in the desert. I, I've never even seen it on. No, I never have. I've never, I never really have. In fact, I, I was saying to, uh, I said to Rich Anderson this morning. He said, "What, what should I say?" He says, "Tell him the truth." He says, "You only do one thing well, and then that's all you need to do." So please. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me what this is. Yeah, I'll try to stay out of the deep uh, grass in this one. I think I got a little bit too far in the weeds last time. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's there's two ways to kind of look at volatility. Uh, there's the VIX, the, which is in the lower panel, and then there's the SKU index in the upper panel. And the VIX uh, tends to kind of look at uh, implied volatility as a whole, right? And what the SKU does is it looks at, the slope of the curve of implied volatility. And what you really need to know is that when the SKU index is going up, that means that implied volatility uh, is got a steeper slope to it. And, and so what at the end of the day, what you really want to understand is that, you know, when this thing starts closer toward the 145 to 150 area, um, you've got about a 15 percent probability of getting a fat tail event. In other words, a, you know, it's measuring tail risk. So the higher it goes, the, the greater the probability of getting a left tail sort of event. And that means a, a two standard deviation or greater decline in market volatility. And so, or, or I should say decline in performance of the S&P 500 driven by market volatility. But what's really interesting is you can get a high skew with the VIX being either low or high. But when the VIX is very compressed the way it is relative to its past year's history, and the SKU index is very high relative to its history, then that tends to indicate that the probability of a black swan event is very, very elevated. Wow. You know what they call a group of black swans, don't you? It's called a bank. <laughs> It's, that's a real name. That's what it's called. It's not called a herd. It's a bank. Hey, we'll be right back with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at 
tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Um, he is very, very very set up on the Elliott wave. So please continue, my friend. Yeah, absolutely, Larry. So, you know, as you know, we uh, we use Elliott wave as kind of our primary model for analyzing the market. And, you know, we call the market the S&P 500, and we spend most of our time trying to look at this index because that's everybody's uh, benchmark, your professional money manager. Well, you know, what we saw after the decline uh, into the June low last year is a rally into August 16th high. And that counted uh, by our model uh, as primary wave two of a five wave decline. Now, the first uh, 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 decline for primary wave three came in October. October 13th marked the low of that. And we call that uh, intermediate wave one down. The uh, counter trend advance that followed topped on February 2nd, and we have yet to take that level out. That was intermediate wave two of primary wave three down. Since that time, we've seen another down up, five waves down into the March 13th low mark, the end of minor wave one down. And then we got a three wave counter trend advance into the May 1st high, which fell short of the February 2nd high. That counts as minor wave two. And since that time, we've seen a very small degree Five wave move to the downside. That's minute wave one down and a rally into the May 10th high. That was minute wave two. As long as we hold below that February 2nd high, this count is good. And if we break below 4,039, it will confirm the count and set us up for a third wave decline at four degrees of trend, which, quite frankly, I have not seen uh, a setup this bearish since, honestly, uh, I think 2007, 2008 time frame, right before uh, the great uh, financial crisis kicked in. And I'm not suggesting that that's, that's the end result here, but I am suggesting that we are going to lower lows. Uh, we, we should take out the October 13th low with this next decline. And honestly, uh, by our work, um, we would not be surprised to see uh, a third wave decline carry prices down into the mid-2000s on uh, the S&P 500. In fact, we spoke with our friend Doug Ramsey at the Luthold Group uh, a couple days back, and he said by his work, uh, fair value on the S&P 500 is about 2,900. So if we got down into kind of this 2,750, which is our minimum expectation for this decline, it would be right in line with the S&P's fair value. And so uh, we don't think that there's uh, uh, too much, um, you know, to, to question about that. 
Okay, Jeff, I've changed it a little bit here. I put your information on your website, www.jwh investments. Yeah, it's JWH yeah, Investment. JWH com. Yeah, that's how you find our website, exactly. Okay, and you're on Twitter? We are on Twitter, uh, at Alpha underscore Insights. And then we also publish a newsletter uh, that's available on Substack at hugeinsights.substack.com. Okay, what what is Substack? I'd never heard of that before. I didn't know what that uh, what that is. What is that? Mm-hmm. Well, it's basically a newsletter publication site. So uh, a lot of a lot of uh, financial authors and and you know various authors publish their work on Substack. It's it's a great distribution platform. Wow, that's pretty cool. I posted the part about your monthly newsletter, Jeff. To tell the folks how have you how have you done the first uh, five months, uh, uh, f- uh, four months of the year? Are you uh, are you holding your own? What what has been your results? Well, how can, um, how can, how we are think? holding our own. Um, you know, I will say uh, through the end of the first quarter, we were up about three, four uh, percent for our, our 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 trading account, right? Which was good because there just weren't a lot of breakout. We're breakout traders, so we sure. didn't see a lot of breakouts to trade, unfortunately. Um, but as of yesterday's close, we we're up about five percent year to date. So mm-hmm. uh, we're beating the S and P five hundred. Uh, slightly, and uh, we're beating the S and P or the or the broad market, the uh, Wilshire 5000, uh, by about 500 basis points. The Wilshire is uh, not not positive for the year. So, mm-hmm. okay, that's really good. Well, listen, we're going to have you on again soon, but uh, please keep these charts coming because I I certainly enjoy them, and I know the folks here at TFNN do. Because I get a lot of feedback that, gee, we didn't realize there were these kinds of charts available. I know there's thousands of them, but you seem to pick the ones that uh, really get to the heart of what the market's doing. So that my hat's off to you on that one, my friend. You do a great job. Well, thank you. You know, if you like those types of charts, you can find about 25 to 30 of them in my monthly newsletter every month. The next issue is going to be published on June 3rd. Wow, very good. Well, listen, thanks for joining us, and I hope the folks follow through and get that newsletter. What, $12 a month? That, that's the cost of a of a French fries and a drink over in Switzerland out of McDonald's. You can't even get a Big Mac for that anymore. <laughs> Big Mac is $18. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, Jeff. We really do appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Great to be here, Larry. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay, folks, we'll be back here. I wanted to remind ourselves here that we want to be watching the uh, the corn, especially this July corn. I'm going to post it again. Let's try it again, Larry. The December corn, which is the new crop. Uh, I think this is a uh, it may not work, but boy, this is everything that you you could ask for. Uh, all the things are set up to get to 4.93 and uh, be a buy there at 4.93 with a stop at 4.82. But it's got to be a lot of work to do uh, tonight uh, to to figure out. You know, the, you got to go down to the a 15-minute chart, and you've got to go to the four-hour chart to make sure you're not missing anything. But on this daily, this happens this weekly chart, you can see that there's a giant 786 there. And if you go down to the different charts, like the four-hour and then the one-hour and then the 15-minute, you'll see that they all have a big, big flashing green light there at uh, 493 uh, per bushel. Remember, Corn was just seven dollars a bushel last year, and it was eight fifty a bushel a few years ago. So, uh, corn at five dollars a bushel is, by any stretch of the imagination, a buy. And folks were only one season away from a famine, and I've never gone through a year of trading where we don't have at least one, two, or three crop scares or some things like Ukraine or whatever. There's always something out there. That'll make the markets move. So uh, this is the time you want to be buying. There's a strong seasonal and on that. So sign up for the 24-7 newsletter, and you'll get those each day. I do video uh, as we approach these levels to be watching where they should be going. And that's what we're looking at as we start to see these things uh, unfold. I hope that gives you some idea of uh, you know the type of work that we do here. Now, I do a lot of short-term work because that's where you can – you can take your risk down to a minute level, and that's that's really what you're what you're trying to do each day. It's new that remember we've gone through the gold, 
We've got we talked about silver. You know, silver's broken below that magical uh, 2391 level. That means it's going to go lower. We have to do work on that tonight also. So all of these things will be lining up here pretty soon. We've got a break coming up, I believe, and then when we get back, uh, we will talk just a tiny bit uh, about the stock market, and then we'll move on to the next one. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to uh, put the chart up here of silver because it illustrates a very, very important point here is that when these patterns break through these ratios, that's very important. As you'll notice that we hit the exact 382 retracement here on Friday. We rallied 40 cents. We matched that low yesterday and then today you can see we broke through it significantly and that tells us we're heading down to a much lower level. This had a chance, but it could only rally 50 cents. Uh, that's why if uh, you were fortunate enough to make some of it, that'd be great. But the worst thing would have been a break-even trade because we said if it gets back to that level again, it is no good, especially after a rally. Many times what happens is the market just hits this 382 and just continues to go down. 
much like it did at this particular time here, much like it did to this particular time here. But when it hits it and stays there for two days, it's telling you that there was strong support coming in. This time the support did not last, mainly because gold and platinum were certainly you know, heading to the downside quite a bit. And we've, we've already reviewed platinum uh, several times, but let's just get it up here. You'll be able to see platinum here on the long-term weekly made a major high just when the gold was hitting the uh, 2080 level. That was here uh, several weeks ago. And as you can see, it went right up uh, to the uh, 70, excuse me, the 61% retracement of the high that we made way back here, which was the large A, B, there's a 3A2 that worked perfectly. You see, it didn't get below that level. And then it goes up, makes the A, B, C, D in perfect format, A, B, C, D, and that's where we are now. We're coming off, so we're going to be looking for a correction down here, about another $150 in platinum, which would be lining up, which possibly another $70 in the gold. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 